Kristen. Good hand eye coordination. Did we all get it? Guys, did we all get it? The ability error number two. The ability to throw and catch a ball. The ability to throw and catch a ball. The ability to throw and catch a ball. Number three. Number three. Good bowling and betting technique. Good betting and bowling technique. Good betting and bowling technique. Number four, the ability to concentrate for sometimes long periods of time. The ability to concentrate, the ability to concentrate for sometimes long period of time. Right, did we all get that? All right, so guys, just remember that you need to remember that. Okay, so now we're going back to your to what we discussed on Friday uh, when Coach spoke about the pitch. Do you guys still remember the pitch that you guys learned on Friday? Do you still remember the pitch? All right, Leonardo, tell me what you still remember about the pitch. Remember the width of the pitch and the length of the pitch. All right, what is the length of the pitch? The length of the pitch is 22.56 meters. And what is the width of the pitch? The width of the pitch is 3.05 meters. And how far is the danger? Yeah, how far is the danger area mark? From the um, increase. 2.64 meters. Guys, Dashi will give me an answer. How far is the... Um, uh, yeah, how far is the danger, danger mark on the pitch? Uh, how far is it from the return increase? Um, 11 meters. 13. 11 meters. 11 meters. Hey, what? No, wait, sorry. Um, five meters. Uh, Leonardo, please give him the answer. Um, go, one, um, 1.96 meters. Coach Brian, is that the right answer? Uh, what Chris is that, uh, Coach Say? Uh, how far is the danger mark on the pitch from the return increase? Sorry, Coach, it was 9.8, 9 no, 1.98 meters, I mean. Okay, we're verifying your answer, Leonardo, because you seem, uh, you know, you seem to have written it down somewhere there. You know, I can see you reading in your book there. <laughs> All 
All right, was First he waiting? Uh, okay, excellent, excellent. Well done, well done. All right, so guys, all right, it's just some of those things, right? I'll ask one more question before we actually touch on what we want to touch on. Why do they put a danger mark on the pitch? Or why do they mark that area or say it's a danger area on the pitch? Why do they put it on there? That's you? Sir, I must have left my hand up from the last time. Okay. Guys, anyone? Why do they put the danger area on the pitch? Or why do they or why do they don't want why don't they want bowlers to step on that area? Leonardo? They don't want the bowlers to step on that area so they don't damage the pitch. Okay. Right. Anyone else? Topam, right, you guys are too quiet there. Coach, I'd also say what Ronaldo said, so the bowlers don't damage the pitch when they run through. Yeah, they, they, yeah, but there's two of you there. Surely both of you can think the same. So Josh, come give us a different answer. Coach, he's a bit sick, he's lying down in bed. Mama Hi, Ivan. Wake him up. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Right. So, guys, write it down. Right. If you don't know the answer, I'm not going to give it to you. Write it down. Write it down as a question. Research about it. Tomorrow, I'll ask again. Uh, Coach Zek. Yes. On that topic, um, uh, a few guys answered that um, they, you shouldn't, the bowler shouldn't run on the danger area because yeah, they will damage the pitch. Yeah, I know. Good. Yeah, but know. why? Yeah. why? Yeah, yeah. It's just that. Uh, yeah, it's just that I don't. Want, uh, yeah, it's just that I want those ones that don't know to also, uh, you know, to also research about it. So I know it's a good answer, but I want others to also go and research about it. But does anyone know? Uh, uh, I think Leonardo gave a good answer that they don't want the bowlers to damage the pitch because that area area where most of the balls are going to be bouncing, so you can't have people run on it. Hello. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. For a sec, you were breaking a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I was saying that, um, that um, you know, the umpires restrict people from going to that area so that the bowlers don't damage the pitch. So, Leonardo gave a good answer. Uh, Topham also gave a good answer. Right, so guys, we're going to touch on the 30 yard circle. Right. Do you guys understand the 30 yard circle? Uh, if you guys looked at your fielding chart, did you look, did you see a 30 yard circle there? Guys, so uh, if you saw a 30 yard, yeah? So I never get a fielding chart. Coach uh, Alista. Coach Alista. Okay. Your player, they didn't get the chart. Uh, coach, you've got those charts. Does you? Mm. Co coach is saying yeah. you have them. Does you? Okay, okay fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's fine. Coach Amos, can you please uh, share your screen for me, please, with the chat for me, please? Okay, let me um, just carry on while I'm setting that. Okay. I'm setting up that to take a few minutes. All right. Okay. Guys, uh, guys, have you ever heard of something called power play in cricket? Uh, have you ever heard of something called power play in cricket? 
And when it's power play, uh, you know, how do the umpire signal power play? Show me a signal of power play. Show me there with your hand. Uh, if you know the signal of power play, show me the signal if you know about power play. Hey, Ari, and your hand is going sideways there. It's not rotating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, so guys, what does it mean? Or, or what do we say? Or what do the umpires say when they talk about power play? What do you understand about power play? Leonardo? Well, I, I understand about power um, that it's that there's like maximum of fielders outside the 30 yard box. I mean, 30 yard circle. Okay. That's you. Kian? Coach, what I can understand is that you can only have a limited of fielders during each power play out of the 30-yard circle. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You see, but which format are we talking about? Uh, is it the same when it's test cricket? Is it the same when it's T20 cricket? Is it the same when it's one-day cricket? That's you. Your hand is up. In um, T20 cricket, you're only allowed two in the first power play, which is the first six overs. In ODI cricket, you're only al in two, also allowed two in the first power play, which is 10 overs. And in test cricket, there is no power play. Okay. And then, um, okay, that's a good answer. And then um, how many power plays are there in one day cricket? How many power plays are there in one day cricket? Hello, Andre? There's 15. There's 15 power plays in one day cricket. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Uh, uh, Leonardo, how many power plays are there in cricket? Two. Okay. Uh, Dash you, how many power plays are there in cricket? All right, there's two power plays in right. There's two power plays in one day cricket. There's two power plays. Two. There's two power plays in one day cricket. Right. Dashiu, you mentioned that the first one is from over number one to over number ten in one day cricket. Am I right? Yes, you did. I did. Right. Now the question is, when do you have the second power play? in a one day game when do you have the second power play in a one day game yeah dove the 30th to the 40th over sorry the 30th over to the 40th over the 30th over to the 40th over. Okay. Guys, anyone else who wants to give me an answer? Guys, in one day cricket, when do you get the second power play? Leonardo. The 20th over. The 20th over. Okay. Uh, guys, anyone else? Arian. What's, uh, Arian, give us an answer there. When do you get the second power play? 40th to the 50th. Ah, uh, guys. Uh, right, Elandre, when do you get the second power play? Sir, from the 30th to the 45th, 45th over. From there? From there, say it again. 30th over to the 4th, 4th, 50th, 40th. 
Okay. Right. Guys, the second power play. 14. All right. Guys, the second power play comes from over number 40 to over number 50. So Arian was right there. Right. Well done, Arian, for giving us a good answer. So write it down. The second power play comes from over number 40 to 50. The first power play comes from over number one to over number 10. Right, so now, right, speaking of power play, how many fielders are oh, allowed? Next. Yes. Uh, yes. We talk here about uh, an international game, right? Yes. Uh, Arian was right. I think Dashu was right. But there's also a power play in the middle that uh, we didn't talk about, which is from over number 10 to over number uh, finished off on the over uh, starts off on the over number 40. Oh, yes, you're allowed. Oh, oh, yes, we forgot about the field one, yeah. outside. Yes, the middle one. Yeah, so there's actually two, three power plays. Yeah, three power plays. Yes, thank you, coach, about that. Thank you. We, okay. we actually forgot about that one. So there's three power plays, not two. There's three power plays. Thank you, Coach Alista. Right, so now the next question is, how many fielders are allowed on the offside during a one-day game? And how many fielders are allowed on the leg side? during the one day game. How many offside fielders allowed and how many leg side fielders are allowed? Right, if it, okay, I'll check there, Leonardo. Two coach, two, to me, two in each side. Elandre. Said one, one, one on each each side. All right. I think this is a difficult question for you guys. So I think we're going to put this question in your homeworks. All right. So keep that question. How many fielders? Yeah, how many fielders are allowed on the offside uh, in a one-day game? And how many fielders are allowed on the off uh, on the onside in a one-day game? Right. Right. And then I'll ask you guys another question. So in a game, when you're playing a game, are you allowed to move your keeper uh, and put him somewhere else where you want to put him? In a cricket game, are you allowed to move your wicket keeper and put him anywhere else you, you feel like putting him? Does you? No. Why? Because the keeper is meant to be behind the stumps. You stop the ball that go behind the stumps and not anywhere else. Leonardo, what's your answer? Coach, yes, you can move it, but not other places. You can move him back and forward close to the wickets. Okay, I'll give you a specific field set can you move your wicket keeper can you move your wicket keeper and put him at Kian are you allowed to move your keeper from wicket keeping position to mid off are you allowed coach I think so because you can set the field set how you like if you want to take that chance you can take it okay um, Elandre said 
You can move it from back, back and front close to the wicket, but you can't move it to the middle. Okay. So, guys, that's the answer there. Right, you can't move your wicket keeper to any other position except wicket keeper. Right, your wicket keeper stays stays there keeping the wicket. So that means that you can't move your wicket keeper. Right, you can't go to mid off. You can't go to feel like your wicket keeper is to stand or stay behind the wicket. Right, and you can't move uh, your coach Zach, Yes. Can I ask Elandre why? Why am I not allowed to move my keeper to mid off? Only you said only forward and backwards. Why am I not? Elandre, you gave a good answer. Yes, sir. Yeah, why am I not allowed to move my keeper? What would happen if I move my keeper there? Why sir? am I not allowed? Sir, yes. because if you don't have a, if you move your wiki keeper and then you don't put a, and if you don't have a wiki keeper and I maybe edge it for four, then they making more runs. And then if the wiki, wiki keeper order, they don't make so more runs. Oh, okay. All right. So if the guys are not aging and the ball is not going there, we can move our keeper, right? Nice, no, sir. Okay. Um, that's you. Coach, you can't move the keeper anywhere else because it's meant for that position and it's not supposed to go anywhere else besides back and forth behind something. Okay, very interesting. So the law says that, the cricket laws, right? If you go on the cricket laws, they say you can't move your keeper to any other position. The keeper must stay behind the stumps. So that's part of the cricket laws. They are the laws. That's why we can't do it. It's the law. The law restricts us from doing that. Not um, any other reason or saving uh, K runs or all that. All right. Uh, Coach Zeke, you can take over. Okay. Um, I think Ronaldo has got a question there. All right, Leonardo can speak. Yes, Coach, I have a question of that keeper thing. Um, one important thing, if you do a bouncer, the, the, um, the batsman can just... Um, Duck and the ball can go over him for four. Okay. So that's a suggestion, not a question, right? Yes, coach. I was just like turning. Okay. All right. All right. So, guys, did you get that? So you can't move your wicket keeper because the laws of cricket say so. Right, not the umpire, not anyone else, but the laws of cricket. Say so. And also, I want to right. add something on that. Uh, yes, coach. On the wicket keeper standing up to the stumps. Is the wicket keeper allowed to have his gloves in front of the stumps when the bowler, uh, when the ball goes past the batsman? Why Sorry, can you repeat the question? Is the wicket keeper allowed to have his gloves or to collect the ball in front of the stumps where the batsman has missed the ball? Ronaldo? Coach, no, you're not allowed to. He's not allowed to? No. Okay, I'll come back to you, Leonardo. Uh, Kian, you've got, a, you've got an answer there. Coach, the wicket keeper's not allowed to do that. He's not allowed to do that. Okay, who else has got a question and an answer for me for that? 
Arian. Arian. So the keeper is not allowed to have his gloves in front of the stumps. The ball has to go past the stumps for the wicketkeeper then to collect the ball, either to take a catch or to effect a stumping on that, or even just to collect the ball. So if the wicketkeeper has got his gloves in front and he collects the ball, the umpires will signal a no ball. If we got that. Coach, that's what happened to me once. So why didn't you say that? <laughs> I, I had my hand up, but then you never choose it. Okay. All right, so guys, next question. What happens during the power play when one of your fielders is outside of the circle, but yet you are supposed to be inside the circle? What action does the umpire take? Yo, Leonardo is always the first one to raise his hand. <laughs> Leonardo, here's your answer. A no ball, coach. Okay. Um, Kian? Coach, I was also going to say a no ball for the fielder not being in the circle. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. Well done. Clear pins for yourselves. Well done. Yeah, well done. All right. So, guys, are we getting all these things that we're discussing? Because next time when I start asking questions, I don't want people to start dribbling. And like, ah, but coach, you don't remember. Ah, coach, you never told us about this. You never told us about that. You see, that book by now should be full. Right. So, guys, here's an, right, here's an interesting question. How many meters? Is the period circle from the stamps? Coach, can you say that again? You were glitching. How many meters? Yeah, how many meters is the 30 yard circle from the stamps to where yeah, to where you take the 30 yard circle? Uh, right, how many meters are there? Uh let me ask Elandre. Right, how many meters are there? 30. Uh, Arian? Also 30, sir. Why 30? You know, where did you get the 30? I started. Kian, where, Kian, where are you getting the 30 from? Coach, I didn't say 30. No, uh, no it's a question. Okay, okay right. Leonardo, yes, your hand is up. You get the 30 from the 30 yard circle. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Everyone that answered, well done. Yeah, Dav, I see you got confused there. Leonardo, yeah, you're Dav, you are very clever. Confused. You are very, very <laughs> clever. <laughs> yeah, very, Dav very clever. The answer was there, guys. The answer was there, 30 yard <laughs> circle. <laughs> very clever, you know, Leonardo. Dav was thinking about it. You know, and yeah, Dav was still thinking about it. All right, so, right, and then, um, right, I'm thinking of a tricky question to trick you guys to try and test your knowledge a little bit. All right, because if I ask you guys, these are other questions, you guys are getting them very fast. Um, right, the, the return increase, right, where does it run all the way to? Where, uh, where does How the, long is the return increase? Is it the length? Leonardo, your hand is up. Coach, the length of the meter. How long is the return increase? Elandre. Uh, Sir, I'm thinking. Come, tell me what you're thinking. Kian. Sir, 
Sir, I think it's 10, 20 centimeters. Okay. Kian, give me your answer. Coach, I 10 think it's to 20 one. centimeters. Uh, say it again, Kian. Coach, I think it's from the one crease to the other crease. Hmm. Leonardo, the end is up again. Coach, I think it's um 1.98 meters. Hmm. Leonardo, tell me, where, where did you get that from? Where, where did you get it from? Ah. Right, guys, that line runs all the way to the boundary. Right, so basically what it means is that uh, even if you're standing like on the boundary uh, and the ball is going to bowl, as long as you're behind the line, they can't run you out. Do you understand that? No, you guys don't understand what I just said now. Uh, coach, coach, I think um, uh, you're talking about the popping crease now, which is the betting crease. These guys, uh -huh. you, you tricked them. You had said the retaining crease. <laughs> so now we're talking about the popping crease. Yeah. So how long uh, is the popping crease? I think that was Coach Zach's question. How long, how long is the betting crease? That's you. It runs all the way to the boundary. Sorry? It runs all the way to the boundary. Uh, where did you get the answer? I just guessed. I uh, got the answer from Coach Zach just now. Now, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So what, you don't need to. Yeah. Coach, but it doesn't like the line isn't all the way to the boundary. It stops after a while, but as long as you. Um, as long as you can find the line um, where it is there, it, it's still there. You still in. Yes, exactly. Uh, what grade are you now, Dashu? Dashu, you're four. great? Grade four. four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. For the grade four, that's fair enough. I'll give you guys some of the questions. Um, we uh, I gave you for the homework. Right. Uh, what is the pop increase in cricket? What is the pop increase? Elan, um, Ray, you Sir. It, the pop increase is if you bowl, that, that is the line where you jump and put your back foot and bowl. Uh, anyone with a different answer from that? Um, I've got Murangi there. What is the pop increase? Coach, it's where the batsman stands, plays all his shots. It's the first crease where he stands. Okay, fair enough. Anyone with a different answer from that? What is the pop increase? Um, Kian? Coach, the popping crease is the line that the that is part of the rolling crease and is used by the umpire. It's part of the coach. The popping crease is the line that is part of the bowling crease and is used by the umpire. Let's see where they go. Um okay, Kian, I hear your answer. Anyone with a different answer from Kian and Alandre? Um, Leonardo, Arian, I will come to you. Coach, the pop increase is the line behind the wickets with the bowler balls. The line behind the wickets. Yes. Uh, Arian, what is the pop increase? 
It's where the Batman slides his bat in. Where the blood basement slides is betting. Uh, Dashiu, do you have a different answer? Pete, that is you. Uh, Dashiu, you breaking on my side. Come again. The line that is close to the bowling crease that is used by the bowl by the umpire. Okay, what is the other name of the pop increase? The pop increase has got two names. What is the other name? Put up your hand, press the button and put up your hand. Press the button on the zoom to put up your hand so that I can easily see who's up. Uh, Arian? Return, please. Return, Chris. Um, anyone else with a different answer? What is the other name of the popping, Chris? Um, Kian? What is the other name of the, the popping, Chris? The bowling, Chris. The bowling, Chris. Kian? Anyone with a different answer? Dashiu? The bat increase. The bat increase. Okay. Dashiu, you got it right there. Um, Elandre, Kian, Arian, uh, you need to correct your answer. The pop increase is where the best men stand when they are batting. Arian, you got it right to say it's where the best men slide the bat. Yes, it's where the Batman slide the bat. The other name, that's where you got it wrong. The other name of the popping crease is the batting crease. So it's either it's called a popping crease or a batting crease. It's the same crease. Popping crease, batting crease, it's the same crease with two names. Right. Why is it called the betting crease? Murangi? It's because it's where the batsman does he stands, slides in his bat and he bats there. Okay, cool. So we mustn't forget that when we talk about the pop increase, when we talk about the bet increase, it's the same crease with two names, right? Um, and the crease where we put the stamps, what's the name of that crease where we put the stamps? The name of the crease where we put the stamps. That's you. The bowling, no, yeah, the bowling increase. Anyone with a different answer? Leonardo? Coach, I agree. The popping, the, no, the bowling increase. The bowling increase. Why is it called the bowling increase? Coach, because it's where the bowler bowls. Okay. Uh, Dashu, do you have a different answer? It's, it's like the line where it is, um, where the bowler like jumps and, um, and where his foot is usually behind. Okay. And um, which creases, if you step on them, the umpire will call no ball. Which creases are those? When they call a no ball, if you step across or step over, step across or step over. Leonardo? The ball increase. The ball increase. Anyone with a different answer? Yeah, because the thing is that you can see negative. Arian? Stepping over. Which crease, which crease do you have to step over or step across? 
or touch for the umpire to call a no ball Murangi? Coach, the pop increase. The pop increase. Anyone with a different answer? Elandre? Sir, the return crease. The return crease. Yes. That's an interesting one. Can you tell me more about that? About that no ball? Sir, the return crease is where you, because the return crease, you put your front foot where you must ball, by the return crease, because you must get it. Because if you step over it, you, it's a no ball. Uh, the return increase. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll ask this question. Which one is the front foot if you are a right arm bowler? Which one is your front foot? Which one is your back foot? Sir, a right, a right hand bowler. Yeah, if you are a right arm bowler, which one is your front foot and which one is your back foot? Sir, I think your front foot is a right foot. Okay, um, let me get someone there. Um, Elandre, uh, Elandre, I was talking to you just now. Uh, Leonardo, which one is your front foot and which one is your back foot? Coach, when you are um, bowling. My the left foot for my right hand, but right hand bowler is my left foot in front, my right foot at the back. Which one is your front foot and which one is your back foot when you are a right arm bowler? Is it your right foot or your left foot? Is it your left foot or your right foot? Coach, which one is the back foot and which one is the front foot? The front, the front foot one is the left foot and the back foot one is the right foot. Anyone with a different answer? Right arm bowler. Right arm bowler. Which one is your front foot? Which one is your back foot? Arian? Arian? Left foot. Left foot. Left foot. Left foot. Okay, left foot is the front foot. Okay, um, Dashu, I'm expecting a complete answer from you. Don't let left me down. Is, your left foot is the uh, front foot and your right foot is the back foot. Right, so we have to understand that. Guys, it's very important that you understand when you are bowling. Your right foot is the back foot. Your left foot is the front foot. Right, how many types of no balls are there in cricket? You can name one if you've got uh, Leonardo, your hand is always up. Oh, you're just keeping it up. Coach, because I just That's turned eight. you? That's you? Coach, because I just turned eight. Okay. If, if, if your hand is uh, if you bowl the ball and uh, if 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 you bowl the ball and your foot is and and your and it's a full toss and it go, and it goes over the batsman's waist, it's called a no ball. No ball. That's no ball number one. Anyone with uh, another no ball? Arian, another no ball. Surely, guys, there's plenty. Everyone must be putting their hand up. Yes, Arian. Oh, oh. Over the betting crease? Uh, when you step over the betting crease. Okay. The first one is above waist. Guys, write down. The first no ball is above waist. Let's write that down. The second no ball that oh. Arian has given us if you step over the betting crease. No ball number three. 
Leonardo? Noble number three, I think it is. The one that the keeper can't get the ball in front of the batsman, like collect it. Okay, noble Dad. number three is when the keeper collects the ball in front of the stamps. Let's write down. We've got three no balls. Fourth no ball. Uh, let's wait for the guys to die. Uh, yeah, Dava will be on you. Let's wait for the guys to write. Uh, yeah, Dav, fourth no ball. So if you bend your arm when you're bowling. I can't hear you, Adav. So if you bend your arm when you're bowling. Uh, what happens when you bend your arm when you're bowling in cricket? Does the umpire call no ball? Uh, Coach Zeke, Coach Alistair, if you're there. Yeah, I'm here, Coach. I'm here. Uh, let's go through that one. It's a tricky one that uh, uh, yeah, uh, Dav, you've brought up. Uh, if you bend your arm in cricket when you're bowling, the first time you get a warning, but eventually if you keep bending your arm, the umpire will take you off. They will not allow you to bowl. Then they will send you for testing for you to get, uh, for you to go get your arm tested. Okay, so uh, yeah, Dav, that one is very tricky. All right. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very tricky one. We will put it aside. <laughs> Uh, and uh, tomorrow uh, we'll give you an updated answer on that, especially on junior cricket, because there is no way a junior is going to go get tested. International players will get tested. You see? So we'll give you a full answer on that one. I'm still looking for number four, no ball. Uh, coach, what was the first one, the second one, the third one, and, and the fourth one, so that I can also add my answer? Um, uh, someone, uh, does you give us the list of the no balls we've covered? Give Coach Zek the no balls we've covered so far. Um, if the bowler bowls a full toss over the over the batsman's waist, if the bowler steps over the um, batting crease, if the keeper collects the ball before the stump. Okay, that's three. That's three. Yes. Number four, I'm looking for number four. Uh, Leonardo? Number four, um, no ball. Um, when you can't put your field, um, the power play, maximum of field is outside. If you put not the maximum of field is, you'll get a no ball. Okay. Let's call it fielding restriction. Right. Yes, Number four. Number five, Arian. Is it double bouncing? Is it double? Yeah, double bounce. Double bounce. Um, Let's write down that is number five, double bounds. Number six, any other no ball? Elandre. Sir, um, if she has. Sir, if you have more than two people behind the third circle, if if it's if it is a 
power play. Okay, that was said by Leonardo, but well done. Um, that's yeah, building that... restriction. Yeah. So if you bowl a bouncer, then your first bouncer will be a warning and your second bouncer will be a no ball. That's a good one, yeah, now, but is it not a wine? You're very correct about the two balls that you said. The first bouncer, that's allowed. The second bouncer. I don't know, Coach Zach, do you agree? Uh... You see, then they usually call it a wide uh, if the ball goes over the, the batsman's shoulders. Uh, it goes, yeah, they call it a wide. Right, so I think um, to just help Dashiu there, if you bowl a bouncer, it's for a bouncer between the shoulder, the shoulders and the head. Uh, they will call it a no ball. If it's above the head, it's a wide. If it's directed to the head, then first warning and second warning will be a no ball. Uh, coach, you isn't that a beamer? Uh, coach, are you not talking about bouncer. a beamer? We're talking about a bouncer. Okay. A beamer. Uh, a, a beamer, we've spoken about that. That's the ball above the waist. That was the, um, uh, that was the first no ball. That was the beamer. Yes, does you? Um, if the bowler, so you know, in last, I think once we spoke about the return piece, if the bowler bowls past the return piece, if the bowler bowls, like a, come again, does you? After the return piece, because if the bowler bowls after the return piece, the long piece of how far long he can bowl if he bowls after that piece. Um, okay, you you are breaking a little bit, but I would want to uh, think what you're saying is if the bowler steps across the return increase. Yes. Okay. Uh, with which which foot, the the front foot or the back foot return increase is not the pop increase. So we're talking about the return increase. Do you have to step with the front foot or your back foot? Backfoot. Backfoot. So if I step across with my front foot, is it still a no ball? If I step across the return increase with my front foot, is it still a no ball? If you step across the return increase with your front foot, it's, it, it isn't a no ball. Okay. All right. I would agree with um, uh, Dashiu there, right? If you step the return increase, Let's write that, that down. You step the return increase. You step on the return increase with your back foot. If you step across the return increase, then it's a no ball. At times, uh, guys, at times, some umpires in the games at school, if they don't know, they might not see that, or they might not quickly pick it up. You are allowed to remind the umpire, you are at the nine strikers, and the bowler is stepping across the retaining crease with his back foot. You can ask the umpire to say, please watch. You ask them, you ask the umpire nicely, please watch. Most umpires, they will focus more on the front foot, no ball. They will forget about the back foot no ball. If you see that happening and you're a non-striker, you can talk to the umpire to look at the bowler when he's bowling with his back foot. All right. Uh, anyone, I see a few guys with their hands up, whether it's a mistake or not. Yes, Coach Alistair? Uh, I want to go back to the point that you spoke to Yada about uh, the no ball. I'm not sure if that has been written down. Where he talked about uh, bowling bouncers. Yes. 
Um, yes. Bowling. Yes, and I also raised the question that is it a no ball or is it a wide? Of which his answer was very correct. That if you bowl bouncers, it's a it's a it's a no ball. But in the sense that the umpire has to feel that the bowler is deliberately trying to hurt the batsman by bowling short pitch balls, they don't have to necessarily pass above the head. If the bouncer, if the bowler keeps bowling short balls at a batsman, particularly at number 10 or number 11 batsman, the umpires might be forced to step in because they're feeling that it's unfair what the bowler is doing. So they also look at the skill of the batsman. So if it's a top order batsman, the umpires might not have a problem with a, a bowler bowling short pitch balls. But if it's a number 10 or number 11 batsman and the bowler continuously bowls bouncers at that number 11, the umpires will give him a warning to stop bowling short balls. And then if the bowler continues aggressively bowling short balls at that number 11 batsman, then the umpires will step in and say it's a no ball. Yes, right. Um, so this session we've covered a one hour already uh, the laws and all that is always a tricky thing we're gonna do cricket laws the laws of cricket i want you guys to go and read the laws of cricket that's you coach one time in a um odi match in south africa and i can't remember who but um lingy and Giri, um the umpire pulled a no ball and said really stepped over the line and and it was a wicket but then when they looked on the TV it was um it wasn't a no ball but the, and but the ball was already bowled and the another one was already bowled. yes um in a in a situation like that uh, the umpire's decision stands uh, they can't reverse that they cannot reverse that if someone bowls a no ball or he bowls a correct ball and the umpire says no ball, um, the umpire's score stands. You can't reverse that currently with the current rules. Elandre, you've got your hand up. Sorry, sir. It's a mistake. Okay, coach, my hand is up. Yes, coach. Uh, the other no ball that they that they didn't think of. Uh, if a ball runs in and the bowler knocks the. Coach Jack, we couldn't hear you because you were breaking up. Okay. Oh, sorry. I said, I said, um, if a bowler is running into ball and you accidentally knock the bells down, it's a no ball. You can write that down, guys. Uh, right, so the next session we're going to do laws. How many laws are there in cricket? How many laws? Landry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. Yes, your head was Leonardo. up. Leonardo, your head was up. <laughs> Coach, even when he's asking, your head was up already. Yes, Leonardo. Uh, Coach, I think I'm guessing 50. Okay, uh, we don't allow guesswork. Next, um, who else? <laughs> give, give the people that are going to answer a chance. You see, you're taking chances. That's why Coach said it was before I finished the uh, the question. Uh, anyone else? I see Dashu's answer. Dashu's hand is up. Uh, Dashu. I think it's um, 
I'm pretty sure it's 44. 40? Anyone else, guys, with a different answer? How many laws are there? Because you're going to do laws from now until tomorrow. You've got to read all the cricket laws. Murangi. Coach. Laws of cricket. Laws of cricket. How I many? I think, co Coach, I'm going to guess <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's I, I think there's 41. Um, anyone else? Okay, we've got 42. Yay, I was close. <laughs> we've got 42 <laughs> laws. So you guys, you're going to go and read about uh, the 42 laws. It's going, to, it's going to be a lot of reading. You got to read, Murangi. You got to read. You, you're sitting too comfortable today, Murangi. Way too comfortable. I can see. 42 laws. 42. How many did I say? Uh, Arian? Arian, who said 42? No, I said 44. 44. No, you said 44. I should say 44. I said 41. Uh, 42 laws you need to read about, Arian. 42 laws. Right? Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the laws. The laws of cricket. If there is something you don't understand the, that is not covered in the laws, uh, write your question down. That what about if this and this happens? What does the umpire say? Bring all your questions tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. Cool. Anything Coach, else, guys? Anyone? Coach Amos. Kian, Kian your yes. brother, you must remind your brother. Kian, you must remind your brother about yes, this Coach. homework. Right. Yes, you. Um, yes, uh, this morning when I was doing my homework, I had to search for something on Google about cricket. And then I saw one of the questions when it bought at the bottom and it said, how many laws in cricket? So I searched that and and I thought it was and when I saw I I saw forty two and forty two of forty two but then I couldn't remember now whether it was forty two or forty four. Okay, we hear your story. Okay, so we've got forty two. Let's go and read. The best way you can download the app right down is called the MCC Laws of Cricket. It's an app you can download on the phone. MCC Laws of Cricket. MCC Laws of Cricket is an app. It's got all the laws and the videos. You read the, all the 42 laws. We're gonna talk about those. If, uh, if I manage, I'm gonna bring a professional umpire the next lesson so that you can get all the answers you need. Right, so I'll check if I can get a professional umpire. Do you have to buy the app or is it for free? It's for free, Leonardo. You like free things, eh? No, I don't like free things. <laughs> okay. All right. This one is for free. Okay. Uh, thanks, guys. Coaches, thanks. Uh, anyone who wants to exercise from um, 4.30, you can come on Zoom. There will be an exercise session if you want to exercise. 4.30 if you want to exercise uh, in 30 minutes' time. Uh, we'll put you in the waiting room. You can come in. There's a little exercise. Uh, so you are welcome if you want to come and exercise. All right. Coach. Yes, guys, you can take a break. Yes, who's saying, Coach? Me. Your, your connection. Right. Um, What's, yeah. Coach, did you forget something? What is that? Because today's my birthday. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on, guys. Mm, when I sing. sing, I didn't see the cake. I didn't see the cake. Right? Who's the, lead, who's the lead singer? I'm, 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 yeah, bring it. Bring it so that we can sing. Let's see the cake so that we can sing. Okay. Bring it. Put it on the bed there so that we can sing. Who's the good singer to lead us here? 
Arien are a good singer. Ah, uh, and Kian. Kian. Yeah, Kian, yeah, Kian and Arien. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Kian. so everyone. Kian. Uh, we everyone, want you're going to switch on your mic. So that we can sing for Leonardo. Right, let's mic. get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to sing for Leonardo. Let's get ready. Make it a quick one. It's also my sister's birthday today. Yeah, so we're gonna sing one time, you see. Coach, right, where gonna... is Mike where they gonna sing on? Sorry? Where's the mic they're gonna sing on? The everyone is got a mic. Murangi, you've got a mic there. What do you think you're using? You're just using a mic there. Yeah, guys, ready? Ready? I'm gonna say two. Yes, I'm gonna say two, three, one, sing. Ready? Two, three, one, sing. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, well done. Okay, um, enjoy your birthday. Uh, guys, you can take a break if you want to come back for the exercise at half past, you are welcome. Um, all you guys, well done. Don't forget the homework, right? Yes, if you, if you stay on, I'll put you in the waiting room for the, for the exercise. Coach. Yes. Yes. Um, my, uh, see, see what my sister's dressed in. My sister. My... Hey. <laughs> right, uh, right, uh, right, guys. Let's also sing Happy Birthday to her, guys. It's her birthday, so everyone. Uh, let's let's sing do it. No, right. she's coming, Coach Zek. She's coming on the uh. on the second session. She must come on the second session. Arian, tell your sister to join the second session for exercise. Yes, coach. She right. she's doing a session today. There, there's a session yeah. for her to be Yes, there's a right, session. Guys, she must goodbye. come. Then we goodbye, sing. Bye, guys. Yeah, we we'll right. put, put you guys them in the waiting room if you want to join. Four thirty. Right. See you later. Right, um, coaches, thank you very much. We appreciate. Um, hey, thank